Right, well, the aim of these these tutorials is trying to help you create a game in live code with a little Christmas theme to it, hence the Christmassy background. And um, what is really important when you when you listen to the, these tutorials is you try and actually do the code as you go along. There is no point in just listening to them all and then saying, right now, I'll do the code. You want to actually, it's that the idea is you, I do a little bit of code, then you do a little bit of code as I type it out on the screen, you do a bit. So let's get started and show you how to create a little Christmassy game. So the, the idea is we're going to have a, a Santa on the screen and he's going to run around and he's going to try and collect some presents within a certain amount of time. That's the, the basics behind it and there's and, uh, and the yeah, and once he's collected the present, the present will disappear and reappear in another location. He's got to run over there and get it. So let, let's get um, the live code started up. Now, uh, there's some files you'll need for this, some background files. You can use whatever background files you want, but if you want to use the ones that I used, they can be found in the GRA group folder, under resources, computing, and then if you go into live code examples, you'll see a folder called Christmas, and it's these files here you'll need. So if you just uh, control C that, oops, control, copy that, or copy that file, right click, copy what you want to do, and then if you go into your home folder, which is your number, this number here, then you can uh, paste it into there. So again, just right click and then paste and you'll have this Christmas folder. So everything is gonna be stored in there and that's where we're gonna save our file, our live code file to as well once we start on that. Okay. Now let's open up a, a file, a new main stack. And as soon as we open up, we're gonna save it. So file, save as and then we're going to make sure we save it into the same place into your home folder and then find the Christmassy bit and then type in Christmas or whatever Christmas game now uh, this uh, this is the, what the card's going to look like obviously we need a nice little background on there to make it look a little bit more interesting so we're going to import uh, so we're going to import uh, image so click on the import image and then we're going to import this background so this is from the Christmas folder the background open that up and make this lovely Christmas tree in the background there now if we just double click on this picture it will tell us a bit more information about the picture so it's called background and if we now go to size and position it tells us that it's 700 by 400 pixels in size so we've actually got to make this card here the same size you could just adjust it like this but it's much better to do this way if you go into object and go to stack inspector it will actually tell you here how big this um, uh, the, this the, the screen is this this uh, this window here so for example if I oh, what have I just done it's thinking about life here we go if I change this it automatically updates that over there so we want it 700 by 400. And then if we just move the picture around so it fits nicely in there, there we go, we've got that nicely centered now. So that's our background sorted out. Next thing we want to do, in fact, let's just lock that because I'm not gonna change that anymore. Okay, so that means now you can't move that background around, which is quite good. And uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import a Santa Claus. So image file again, and I'm gonna click Santa this time and I'm going to open him up, and there's Santa. Now, again, Santa's way too big for this. He should be quite a bit smaller, so if we click on one of these little corner bits here, we can drag him down to a nice little size. There we go, that's a bit better. I'll put him just beside the tree there. Okay, and again, just double click on Santa, and the image of Santa, PNG, size and position, we're going to lock that and that will stop Santa becoming bigger when you open up the file again after closing it down. Okay, so we've got our background and we've also got a Santa in there. Right, now we're gonna create some code now because the first thing we wanna do is get the Santa guy moving around. So I'm going to go to object and I'm going to do the stack script. And the reason why I'm using the stack script is uh, just because I'm only gonna have, this is basically the script that the, the code is gonna be running 
for this whole program on, in the background. So for no other reason. I mean, you could use the card script if you wanted to. You could even use the Santa script, but I'm just going to have this stack script because it's going to be a uh, code that's always running away, running away in the background. So what I'm going to do is instead of me typing stuff out, I've got the code already written over here. But uh, what I'm going to do is we want to um, have something happening when a key is pressed. So when we press a key, Santa's going to start moving. So we're going to have this little um, uh, command here called on key down. Which key? Now what that means is that whenever a key is pressed, the key is going to what like if I press the A key, it will be stored in this variable here, which key. Okay, so what's going to happen now is that um, we're going to get the Santa to move when we press left when we press the A key, right when we press the D key, up when we press the W key, and down when we press the S key. Now you could change those to other keys if you wanted to, but those are the ones that I have chosen. So we have a little uh, switch statement. And that's going to be so it's switch if which key. So whatever key is pressed, if A is pressed, it's going to move up. So it's going to move left. Okay, and obviously I've got to put a little bit more coding than that, but that's the idea. And then I'm going to have a little break. And then if it's a uh, case uh, D, it's going to move right. And break and so on. Okay, moves. Now, the, to actually get it to work out where to move to, we've actually got to know the location of the Santa. So just before we start doing this switching thing here, what we're going to do is create two new variables. And these are going to be local variables because they're only needed for this procedure. And what they're going to do is they're going to call, be called Y position and X position. So it'll be the X and Y coordinates. And we're going to set those up at the very start. We're going to initialize them to the position that the Santa is in. So for example, we're going to put the top, that means the top of the Santa image is going to be stored into the Y position. So that's uh, going to be this position up here, the top bit right up here, whatever the coordinate is of that. And then the left hand side of the Santa is going to be stored into the X position. So that's going to give two coordinates and they're going to be put into the Y position and the X position. Now what happens is when I press the A key, what I want to do is I want to change the uh, X position, so it's going to move across the screen by a certain amount. So you can do that by using this bit of code here. So instead of just typing move left, we just say, okay, it's going to set the left of the image to the of the Santa to X position take away five. So it's going to take away five from the X position, and that'll make it move a little bit to the side. Okay, so remember to keep typing this code in as I'm going through this, because otherwise uh, it will just you'll just become bogged down in code. So just pause the video any time and make sure you get these bits of code typed in. And then what we're going to do then is we're just going to break, that's fine. And then for a right one, it's going to have exactly the same, except it's going to be a plus five, and that'll make it move to the other, other way. And then just, just finish this switch now. Obviously, we could we have the ones for W and S, but we'll sort those ones out in a bit. So end switch. Okay, let's just press tab, that's all nicely lined up. Right now, let's run that and see what happens. Let's get rid of this. There you go. Now, if we try and run it, when we press the A key, it should... Oh, I didn't like that. Put into X. Oh, I did not like that. Okay, so what we've got to do now is, uh, I just realized what we did there is we didn't actually name the Santa as Santa. So if we go and find our Santa, there it is there, double click on Santa. And we've got to change him, go to his properties over here, basic properties, we've got to change him to a Santa. Okay, and that will work now. Okay, so we apply that, and let's try running it. There we go, it's moving left, and also he's moving right. So we've got Santa moving left and right. Okay, it's looking good so far. So if we again, object, uh, stack script. So we've got them moving left and right. So if we just do exactly the same, if we just copy all of those, 
and paste that underneath. Now we want him moving up and down, so if it's going to be a W, he's going to move up, so that'll be the Y position, will be take away 5, and if he's going to move down, which will be the S position, that's going to be plus 5. So again, that's the Y there. So now what we should have is the Santa moving all around the screen, so let's see what happens when we try that. So we apply that, it's moving up and across the way, does it go up? Uh, it doesn't go up. What's happening there? Why is it not going up? Yeah, okay, so let's see why he's not moving up now. So if we go back into the object, look at the stack script. Yeah, the, the reason why is here, I'm looking at the left of the object, I should be changing that now to the top, because the top refers to wherever it is in terms of the Y direction. So let's just delete all that and put in top there. Apply that. Get rid of it. And let's have a look now. Left and right, up and down. Okay, so there we go. That's the start. We've done the got the Santa moving ar around. Next uh, bit, we'll try and get um, a present appearing somewhere on the screen.